everybody, Neil here. Welcome back to The Weekly Source. I hope you had an awesome 4th of July, um, getting back into the swing of things. Some of you may be out of office, some may be remote, which is what our topic is today. It's what's trending technically. Uh, telecommuting is the term we're gonna use, but uh, working remote. Actually, 42% um, Sherm reported of companies are offering some sort of remote work as it is. So it's a trend that's increasing, uh, whether you or, or a colleague of yours is remote more and more folks are doing it. So a couple tips, things that I've worked for myself or, or um, other folks in the past. First is communication. So you literally don't have you know somebody dropping by your desk, popping in the water cooler talk. Uh, so really important that you're as present or responsive as possible. Easy to be a scapegoat um, if so-and-so isn't responding or, or performance is down. If they don't see you there, they don't hear from you. Um, it's, a, it's a bad look. So you have to over communicate. You have to be really responsive. Uh, and replicate any form of those day-to-day -day communications. With that is engagement. So, you know, you're in a room by yourself or off by yourself, it's hard to replicate, again, that office engagement. Uh, so important that you're proactive in, in, you know, joining groups. So whether it's a creative meetup, uh, some sort of networking event, we have American Marketing Association here in Charleston, a lot of remote folks are there as well. Um, try to mimic that uh, actual human communication because if a spouse or, or somebody else is coming back home, after a long day of work at the office, you may be trying to head out uh, and, and talk with somebody. Same thing with network, expanding your network, finding other means to, uh, to expand that network as well. Third is a discipline or a routine. So some advice I got before I went remote um, was you have to have some sort of routine in the morning. Still get up, put on clothes like you're going to work. Doesn't have to be sort of business uh, formal, um, but definitely put on pants <laughs> is what they said. But also set up a space or working condition for you to go to. It's not laptop in bed or laptop on couch. It's actual an office that you go to uh, to try to replicate that as well. Have that discipline to really stay on top of your work and hold yourself accountable. Last piece is it's really not for everyone. So just take a, a second, really audit. Um, is this, you know, do I need to be around people? Do I need to have that think tank? Can I replicate this even if I'm more remote by going to a coffee shop or something like that? Uh, have that conversation with uh, whether it's your boss or somebody that you work with and really ask around, you know, what are tips uh, that others have had? So question for you, whether, whether you're remote or you have a colleague that's remote, um, what has either worked for you in the past or, you know, you've got somebody that works with you that's really solid at, at being remote and being uh, responsive, you know, one of the things that works best for them. You know where to find us, and we'll see you next week on The Weekly Source.